Hey you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sigrida. Hi, hello, nice to meet you. This video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a daytime look to the evening glam in few easy steps. We're gonna create a daytime look as well, and then we're gonna retransform the same look for the evening glam. This look I actually wore to the like official party. I had my like a nice daytime makeup on, soft glam makeup kinda, and then I transform it for like evening glam, you know, smoky eye and so on, the same makeup. So I posted it all on my socials, on my Instagram and so on, and a lot of you ask for that makeup tutorial, so I'm gonna try to remember all the products I used. I have a pictures in here, I'm gonna insert this somewhere here so you guys can see how it looked, how I looked in that party as well. Without any further ado, let's create that makeup. All right, so I just prepped and primed my eyelids. For those who don't know what it means, I just use the concealer first, blend it off, and then set it with a setting powder. This is gonna help the eyeshadow last longer, stop from creasing, especially if you have hooded eyes like me. So for this look, what I used, at least in my picture, was the Armor Woman palette by Seata London. I think I then, one of these two pink shades, as my transition color, basically like in a C shade through here, blend it out, then I went with lighter shade in here and darker shade in there, and then the eyeliner. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my own brand, the Beauty Beauty makeup brushes. I'm gonna start from the Universal Base, mixing these two shades. I'm gonna go as I said out the corner and then what's left blending either the creases. I'm taking this lighter shade, the same brush, I'm gonna go in a corner to the middle. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking this darker brow shade, the same brush, and going the outer corner, close the lash line, flipping like angle way, and then kind of match with this lighter color with just a tiny amount. For the eyeliner, I'm using my current favorite, 900 by Mina. Oh, being obsessed with this one. I'm just gonna go for a like, nice point here. Just like that. Taking the same palette in this darker brow shade, and I'm gonna use the Precise Shadow Brush by Be Beauty, and then I'm just going kind of on the top of the eyeliner, just how the eyeliner goes. Just like that. Just like that. Not really popping, but kind of making it look soft. All right, next step is the mascara. I don't remember which mascara I used for that particular look, but I think it was Triple Shot XXL Mascara by Ciare. But then I might be wrong. I love this mascara, though. It's like amazing. Alright, that's one layer on. I'm gonna let it dry and come back with a second layer as I prefer two layers of mascara always. And then we can do a face, check our look, finish the eye look, and then we're gonna transform to the face. Okay, so I'm gonna start from priming my face. So for this, I'm gonna use the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer by Ciare. For the foundation, I'm using NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation in a Natural. And to blend that, I'm using Flathead Foundation Brush by Be Beauty. I'm gonna quickly contour using Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer NC1 and C12. Adding a bit of this blush. Set this up, I'm using the setting brush by BU Beauty and the Bye Bye Pores by A Cosmetic Setting Powder. Give me that on that spot. <laughs> to contour, I'm using Sculpting Bronzer and Cacao by Revolution and the Contour Brush by BU Beauty. Quick nose contour using the Precision Brush. Glow to highlighter in a moon dust, the highlighter brush by Be Beauty. For the eyes, I'm coming back to Precise Shadow Brush and a product we still have on. And I'm just gonna start from the outer corner of the eye, close to the lash line, and drag in the color from this. 
So that's just a time bit that's it. Done. That's it. A little bit of mascara. Lipstick, I'm gonna use a combo of Ash Cosmetics, so the lip liner in Mocha, and then the Matte Lippy in Perfect Nude. Alright you guys, so the daytime look is complete. What do you think? Alright now, let's transform this to the nighttime, evening party look, whatever you call it. So what I'm gonna start from face, I'm gonna use a powder to powder under my eyes face. Before you're gonna go, you know, refreshing your makeup or transforming your makeup for an evening look, make sure you're gonna blot off any excess oil which you have on your face. You're gonna take a powder, you're gonna take some on your brush. Can you see I don't have much left in here? So be generous and then press under the eyes why are we doing this, you're asking? Because we're gonna be fixing eyes, we're gonna add a bit more, you know, eyeshadow, so we want to prevent any fallouts. We're gonna wipe this off later. So let this powder just sit under your eyes while you're gonna be fixing your makeup. Kind of like baking, but we're not really baking because our makeup is already ready. We just want to add bit more eyeshadow. I really like me some glitter and in that particular picture I did wear some glitter. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Ash Cosmetics Reflex Blue 3D glitter and the water resistant glitter base eye primer. So I'm gonna go straight away with this where I'm gonna be applying my glitter and I'm gonna be applying inner eye corner to the middle Using the Precision Detail Brush by Bee Beauty to apply this, dip some in a glitter, and apply it. So as I said, I'm going in an eye corner to the middle. Basically on the top where we applied this white beige eyeshadow. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking the Revolution Pro Visionary Gel Liner in Noir. I'm going with this, my waterline. The... Coming back to Precise Shadow Brush, we have one that we used for the darker brow shade. Taking some more of this darker brow shade and I'm buffing this on a lower lash line. We're just buffing it off. Alright, the same brush, doing the same with the eyeliner. Buffing it up a bit. Smoking this liner straight a little bit. All right, before we're gonna wipe this off, that's why we have powder. Remember, I'm gonna take the eyeliner and go in an eye corner, but you can totally leave this if it's not for you. Let's brush this all off. Okay, so next thing, what I did for that look, I actually used the falsies. Falsies I use are by LC by Lisa in E1, so I'm just gonna quickly apply these. Okay, so the lashes are on. What I will do next, fix the contour a bit. I mean, fix, I will make it a bit more intense as we're going for an evening look, so think of it, dim lights and so on, so you want your makeup to be more noticeable and all. Or if you don't wanna, you don't need that to do, but I'm just gonna... Add a little bit more, not crazy though, just close to it like that bows. Just lift face a bit. Put on my forehead. Close. Add some a blush, so this one is the Marble Light Blush in Bloom by Ciare. The lipstick, at least in a picture, what I use, I just topped up the same lippy with the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump in the middle, so that plumped my lips and made this kind of ombre effect looking lip. And that's a finished look. What do you guys think? Let's 
let me know what you think of each look of a daytime glam and then an evening glam look as you've seen it was super easy to transform from day to night leave a comment down below let me know if i should do more similar looks thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this video as always don't forget to press the thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more super 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 important part you're gonna support my channel majorly you guys have no idea bye have a superb day guys ciao for now